Good afternoon and welcome to the lunchtime news from ITV Tyne Tees and Border. Armed police have surrounded a stately home in Northumberland as part of their search for Raoul Moat. Officers descended on Cragside near Rothbury earlier today, which is owned by the National Trust. Well, our correspondent Kate Fisher is there and has the latest. Kate. Well, Helen, more dramatic developments in this police investigation today. I'm at the exit of the Cragside National Trust property. Behind me, you can see armed police officers. They've also got police dogs with them and their police vehicles. They uh, came swarmed here over an hour ago. They're surrounding uh, the property here and none of the public are allowed in today to see it. Other de developments we have today, two people have been arrested in Blythe, a man and a woman, in connection with this investigation. And police say they've also recovered three mobile phones they believe to have been used by Raoul Moat. The first of these discovered in Berkeley after those shootings on Saturday morning, the first shootings. The second they believe was used by him to make 999 calls. They found this after uh, the shooting of uh, PC Rathband. And then the third was found yesterday today by members of the public who were walking in the countryside around Rothbury. They recovered it and handed it in to police. So developments there. They've also released new pictures of what they say is Raoul Moat's campsite um, in, in Rothbury. They also say he may have been camping with other people. There's a tent and camping equipment that they found. This investigation moving all the time. Back to you. Kate, thank you very much. Well, meanwhile, police have been stationed in schools in Rothbury following last night's public meeting. Parents made the request to Northumbria Police following yesterday's confirmation that moats may now target members of the public. It follows high-profile patrols through the town as people are advised to remain vigilant. I'm quite happy to have the armed police at the school. I think the kids are safer here with the police rather than sort of stuck in the house where he's got more chance, especially if he's been sighted overnight. Just... It's all very scary, really. <laughs> I was at the public meeting yesterday, and um, it's very reassuring. Um, one wonders whether, I've got to say, whether he's still around, but uh, better to be safe than sorry, that's what I would say, really. One Rothbury resident sparked an armed response when he thought he saw a figure in a neighbour's greenhouse last night. Rob Herdman claims he spotted a man crouching down, running along a garden wall in the allotments just yards from his house at about midnight. It follows another sighting in Rothbury centre of a man who's fitted Raoul's description. Well, I was just going to bed and I, was, I just looked out the landing window, just looked straight over, and I saw a person running along that path. I couldn't see much of him because cause he was couched down and he was running. And I saw, I could just see the top of the green, I was door from the window, it, it opened. Then after that, I never saw him no more. In other news, a disabled teenager has died after becoming ill in police custody. Darren O'Connor was arrested and taken to South Shields Police Station on Tuesday. But the partially paralysed 19-year-old who had a tracheotomy tube in his neck after a cycling accident was later found struggling to breathe. He was taken to South Tyneside District Hospital where he died early on Wednesday. The police watchdog is now investigating. A man has been found guilty of possessing a rare Shakespeare first edition that had been stolen from Durham University. Raymond Scott was convicted of handling stolen goods and removing them from the country. He was found not guilty of being behind the theft of the volume published in 1623. Newcastle Crown Court heard that Scott was a serial thief and more than £90,000 of debt. who will be sentenced later. The chairman and six directors at the University of Cumbria are stepping down after an independent report criticised the board's effectiveness. The university, which is three years old, has been dogged by financial problems and is having to lay off nearly 300 members of staff. The university is now trying to recruit directors with more expertise in finance and property management. Before we go, a reminder, the police say public information is the key to finding Raoul Moat. A £10,000 reward remains in place for anyone who gives them information leading to his arrest. You can call Northumbria Police on 03456 043 043. Well, that's it from me for now. Alex Watson has the all-important weather forecast coming up next. And we're back with more of the day's news and sport at 6 o'clock. Take care. Bye-bye.
To catch a killer, you have to think like one. I ain't even dead, she looks pretty hot. If I was a girl, I'd want to be her. We need to find her and identify her. Find out where she's been, we find out where she's gone. Her. Not all identity crime is financially motivated. She wants revenge. Identity, Monday at 9 on ITV1 and ITV1 HD. And if you missed episode 1, watch it now on ITV Player.